Hi, I'm Dale Hardy, and for several years I've worked at Letourneau Technologies Incorporated, the company R.G. Letourneau originally founded back in 1929. And through the years, I've studied the life and legacy of Mr. R.G., specifically his impact on the earth moving industry. From his early years, R.G. Letourneau had the ability and the interest to solve common, everyday mechanical problems and make an existing task more productive. Maybe it started as far back as 1902 when his first job as a 14-year-old boy was an apprentice molder in an iron foundry. He hadn't moved 10 wheelbarrows of sand that first day before he was hunting for an easier way to move dirt. By 1908, Argile Turno had been introduced to oxyhydrogen welding and later electric arc welding. As an auto mechanic in 1912, he repaired one of his cars by hoisting it upside down and welding up a crack in the rear axle housing. Welding became one of his legacies as the first manufacturer to use welding to build earth moving equipment, instead of bolting or riveting them as they had been done before. Argile Turno's first earth moving job in 1919 took two men with a tractor pulling a scraper to slowly move three tons of earth. He left a legacy on the earth moving industry when he added two electric motors to a scraper and discovered he could do the work of two men by himself. In 1938, he designed his first motorized earth mover, the Turnipole, which pulled the scraper or other electrical attachments. During World War II, 70% of the earth moving equipment used by the Allied forces to win the war was manufactured by Letourneau. In the 1950s, RG developed the first electromechanical drive system, which he called the electric wheel. That allowed each wheel to operate independently of each other. That concept left a legacy that is still in use today. He also left a legacy for being the first earth moving manufacturer to install rubber tires on his equipment. One of our largest tires today stands 13 feet tall, weighs over 15,000 pounds, and cost over $125,000 per tire. Even though he died in 1969, at the age of 80, the legacy in the earth moving industry that R.G. Letourneau left behind continues on in a very real and tangible way. Bigger and better machines are being built that still use the concepts and ingenuity he employed. And the company that R.G. Letourneau started in 1929 is today part of Joy Global, a worldwide leader in the production of earth moving equipment. The Joy Global Letourneau Series wheel loader we produce in Longview, Texas is the largest front end loader produced anywhere in the world. So, just how big is this earth moving machine? You can see it right here.